Hey, partner, now get to the point, would ya? Good evening, cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws. Welcome to the Slick Six Guns Network. I'm your host, Slick Six Guns, and I'm here to provide education, tips, and community for those interested in the Western shooting sports. If you're interested in stuff like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Today's episode is sponsored by Alamo Knife Works. Be sure to check them out in the description section of this video. Also in the description section is a link to our Patreon account if you feel like supporting us. Now let's pack our wagons and see what's being discovered out west. One of the common accoutrements that you see out on the range during a competition is the good old fashioned knife. However, what are the rules for having such knives in competition? In the Cowboy Fast Draw Association's Gunslinger's Rules, Guidelines, and Handbook, 10th edition, it states quite plainly that clothing is an essential part of the atmosphere that is created in Cowboy Fast Draw contests and related activities with the late 1800s clothing being the theme. Western cowboy, including working cowboy clothing, is acceptable. Town folk and period profession is acceptable as well. In short, yes, a knife is acceptable to wear at competition, and it fits the theme, which does not list a limit on its design. In the Single Action Shooting Society Shooter's Handbook, it states under the clothing and accoutrement section that all clothing and equipment must be worn appropriately and how it was intended, or how it would have been in the Old West or as seen in the movies. It also says to refer to the specific requirements listed in the costuming shooting categories. If you look in the classic cowboy and cowgirl section, one of the rules is that the shooter must choose at least five of the requirements listed below. One of the options being a knife. It is always good practice to read the outlawed items to ensure your accoutrements are within the sports parameters. This particular knife is known as the little cowboy and I have to say, when I laid eyes on it after unsheathing it, it was quite a spectacle as I was greeted with a beautiful mix of colors on the blade. The knife comes in a leather sheath that is double stitched and covers the majority of the knife except for the last inch or two of the handle. A leather strap can be opened and closed to gain access to the knife and is held in place by a metal snap. The knife is secured in place by this leather strap that naturally wraps around the bottom of the handle. The maker's mark is visible to any observer who gives the sheath a good glance and appears natural and pleasant without detracting from visual appearance of the leather. In its current configuration, it is designed to be worn on a belt with the ability to be drawn using an across the body motion. The strap holding the sheath to the belt is very thick and double stitched, which gives it strength and will allow the wearer to carry it in every condition with ease and with confidence that the strap will not come loose under physical stress. The overall length of the knife is roughly 6 inches, with the blade being just over 3 inches. There is only one side that is the cutting edge, and the blade is very thin and balanced. The blade is made with Damascus steel and several hundred layers of 15 and 20 and 1090 heat treated to around 58 on the Rockwell hardness scale. There is even a notch on the blade to assist with opening objects that can't be opened by hand. The handle is made of polymer similar to that of a bowling ball and fits nicely with the metal on the knife. This gives the handle to knife fit a smooth contour and does not have any raised edges. Of course, to add more western flair, you could tie a leather wrap around the handle to make it look more authentic. The handle has a hole in it to accommodate a type of tie down, leather or otherwise. MSRP for this particular knife is 65 US dollars, so it is definitely an affordable item to anyone with an eye for knives or western wear. The knife is capable of making fine cuts on paper and cutting twine as well as rope for everyday use or it is the ideal size to remove unejected shells from either an 1897 shotgun or any lever gun that is used in competition. It is also thin enough to get into the area between the carrier and breech on all rifles of toggle link design. It even can assist in removing caps that have fallen into the mechanism of a cap and ball revolver 
or remove a stuck cap from a nipple. Stay tuned for future episodes to see how different knives can be used in the Western shooting sports and their history.